Hey guys, Hugo Visuals, and today I'm going to show you how to edit loops like Brand Off. And for the past three months, I've been constantly uploading these kind of loops videos. And you guys wonder what and who inspired me to do these kind of loops. And I just have to be honest, these kind of loop videos content seems to be the most engaging video content on Instagram, just for me. Um, purely because my followers really enjoyed it. And I personally enjoy making them as well. And I also kind of believe that by making these kind of loop videos, it really helps you to develop a better storytelling skills. So the person who inspired me and behind all these is actually Brent Knopf. He's actually one of my favorite filmmakers of all time. Check out his Instagram because he uploaded the tons of cinematic travel loops. You're gonna be mind blown by some of the stuff he does. But enough of me talking, here are the four tips then I can teach you of how to make loops like Brand Knopf. The first part is actually probably one of the hardest part and every filmmaker out there will probably agree with me is finding the right music. It really takes me days or even weeks to find the right track. When I find the right music that I really like, I usually just listening to it all the time, whether I'm on a jog, uh, on the way to a meeting, in a busy city, and just, you know, everywhere. So for today's tutorial, I'll be using Music's Bed and also one of the songs from Brand Off's playlist. I will make sure to leave the link of his playlist below. He has some of the most cinematic music for your videos to edit, so make sure to check it out. And uh, the song we'll be using today is called Last Time I Saw You. And I'm gonna jump into right into the part that I really like. And I believe that's the part really um, where the music repeats itself. So I'm just gonna play 10 to 15 seconds of the song. I mean, once you're into the music, you've started to feel um, how it portrays in your video. Okay, so I'm gonna use this song in my video. I'm gonna put in the timeline on Final Cut and show you the part where the music loops itself. So this part can take a while, depends how passionate you really with the music, but uh, once you know how it flows, it's pretty easy and, and I'm just gonna show you how this music loops itself. That music is seamlessly just repeat itself and this is the part where it really dictates the whole video and the second part is finding your loop point of the video and by what loop point mean it means the beginning and the end so you want to have two clips that are kind of interlinking to each other and by doing that you can either use some sort of fast-paced cuts uh, transitions or even within the same clip so this is actually one of my friend matt who's leaving the um, hotel so i kind of filmed this two clips separately in some way it actually loops together so i'm just gonna play it here i place it one clip right at the end and one in the beginning so this is how it goes and you see that kind of already set off the tone because dimmer's cuts and the seamless music repeat itself. After you figure out the loop point, you gotta start thinking how you're gonna fill in the rest of the gaps of the video. So my biggest advice is that start working on the clips before and after the beginning and the end of the clip. I'm not sure that makes sense, but I'm gonna show you what it means. So when we play back the beginning of the clip, this is actually my friend leaving town, calling a taxi, taxi leaving, uh, about to jump on a boat trip, and that's how the adventure begins. So when we look back to the ending part, which is my friend Matt leaving the hotel again. So that's actually well, kind of similar to the first cut. And I've got to think, what is he doing before he leaves the hotel? So my thing is actually how the boat trip actually ends. So leading back into the town 
and him leaving the hotel again so it's actually like a cycle so keep in mind like making these loops you have to keep it under a minute because of instagram doesn't allow any video more than a minute except from igtv i recommend the shorter the video is actually better as more engaging for audience especially if you pack in such an interesting story in such a short amount of time you need for a treat so things to be considered while filling the gaps is that you need to think about the direction of the flow because um, if you use the same direction of the flow that's going to be adding more movement and dynamism into your clip and once you figure out the whole story and fill all the gaps and now it's to actually an optional thing now and is to add sound design and having a consistent color grading and by adding sound design it actually adds so much more depth into your video so having a consistent grading is really important as well because it keeps your viewers in touch with the video and not causing any sort of distractions so uh, let me just show you without sound design and with sound design So you're probably asking me, um, Hugo, where do you get your sound design from? So for this video, I actually used the Essential Flow Sound Pack from Brennoff. And uh, I highly recommend if you're looking for a good sound pack for a good price in the market right now. Honestly, you won't be able to find a better sound pack at this price point. And I've used um, the Lens Distortion Sound Pack, uh, which I still recommend, but it's really expensive and honestly, the Essential Flow is actually a better value and a better quality pack for just $69 so it's really worth it. I would definitely leave the link below for the sound pack and also you can get a 10% discount with Hugo 10. And I actually spent so much time color grading and adding sound design for these loops video because it just make it the whole process even more seamless than already is. And the viewers are going to be very impressed by the stuff they hear and visualize at the same time. So you got to think about how you deliver the feeling to your viewers by making a short little video like this. So after you spend the time getting the sound design, color grading and all the cuts right and adding some sort of transitions, but I don't recommend adding too much transitions because that might cause a little bit of distractions. So keeping maybe three or four is good enough. So now I'm going to show you the end product of this video. Hey, good, good. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little tutorial and um, I'll definitely make more of these in the future. Uh, thank you for watching, see you in the next one.